Hey, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can use Google Calendar for time blocking for all of your subjects. Uh, this simple technique can help you to stay organized, reduce your stress and make sure that you have time for everything else that matters. There's a great quote by John Maxwell that says, run your life religiously based on your calendar. Now, that's exactly what we're going to do today. By using Google Calendar, you can take control of your time, manage your schoolwork and then feel less overwhelmed. Section one, why is time blocking so important? Well, before we start, let's talk about why time blocking is a game changer. It centralizes your tasks so that all your subjects, homeworks and study sessions are in one place. Uh, it also helps you stay on track by setting clear blocks of time for each subject. You'll reduce your stress because you won't be scrambling to figure out what to do next. So section two, we're going to talk about how do we time block your subjects in Google Calendar. So let's go ahead and do the step by step and show you how you can time block this. I want you to open up Google Calendar. So go to your browser and from here we're going to go to google.com and then make sure you're signed in on Google. And then on the menu here, the menu button, click your Google Apps. If you can't see Calendar, make sure you just scroll down. Quick tip is you can drag these icons and let's take it right to the top. Okay, here we go. We'll take it right to the top. So I'm going to click on my calendar. If you look here on my left hand side, you'll see my name. This is my calendar. This is your, on your Google calendar, you'll find your name as well. Okay, so we're only focusing on this calendar right now. So this is the only one I have. Right now it's empty. I'm going to time block it and it's going to look like something like this. Okay, it's going to have all my blocks, all my chunks of each of my subjects uh, on my timetable, including my breaks and my other extracurricular activities as well. All right, so let's talk about this. So to create a subject block, we're going to click on a time slot and then we're going to create an event. So just like this, let's say Sunday, I'm going to click, let's scroll up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to click here and I'm going to add a title for this. Okay, so I'm going to say registration. You can add an emoji in color code so it stands out to you. I'm going to go ahead and add an emoji here. I'm going to just use a clock for registration. Registration is at 7.25. If you don't see the time slot, that's okay. You can just type in 7.25 a.m. And I'm going to go ahead and press save. Now I've got my registration, but what I know is that my registration happens every day from Sunday to Thursday. So what I can do is I can click on this event and I can go ahead and edit this event. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a repeated event. All right, so I'm going to go ahead here. Can you see it says do not repeat? I'm going to go ahead and repeat this. I'm going to go to custom. And I'm going to repeat this on every day except the weekend here. And then I'm going to end this whenever school ends. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end this in, let's say, June, let's say June the 12th. Go ahead and end that. Now, what you can do is you can add a reminder here if you'd like. So you can have a notification, you know, five minutes, 10 minutes, three minutes before the event happens. And then you can color code it as well. So I want to color code this maybe banana and go ahead and save this. So now I've got registration that happens every single day for the five minutes that I need to be there and I get a reminder on my phone or my computer, wherever I log into it. And it tells me, hey, you need to be at registration. Pause the video, do registration, and then come back and I'll show you how to do the first block, the first subject. So similarly, like that, we're gonna do all the time blocks for your subjects. Now you may wanna have a reference doc uh, of your schedule. Uh, I think I have one here somewhere. But this is a reference doc for a schedule. You may pull your one up. I'm going to show you how to do a time block. So let's go with theatre because theatre is a double period on uh, Sunday here, and then it happens again on Wednesday, and it's not the same. It's not the same time. So let's go ahead and check how we can duplicate this. Okay, Sunday. This is theatre. I'm going to of course add my lovely emoji here. So quick tip there. You can see that this is popping up. I'm pressing Control Command and spacebar on my Mac and this emoji um, keyboard pops up. So I'm gonna type in here art, here we go, acting, and I've got my theatre now. This was 7.35 a.m. to I think nine o'clock. And again, you can add your notifications here and you can add your color. Now I would color code each subject differently so it pops up on your calendar and you can see it visually very quick clearly okay so i would go ahead choose whatever color you would like for theater i would reserve red for probably appointments so don't use red maybe use anything else i'm going to use a lavender here 
Now again, just like registration, I know that I have theater every Sunday during these times and I can make sure that this repeats. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat it weekly on a Sunday. Now I could do weekly on a Sunday and that would just, that would just carry on forever. However, I wanna customize this and I wanna make sure that I end this when school finishes, okay? So I can say, end this on, and I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna say, you know, June the 12th. So now that event, once I press save, that event happens every week. So if I scroll over to the next week and the next week, it happens every week, Sunday during that time. Now I wanna duplicate this because it happens on a Wednesday as well. So once you've done that, you can pause the video here and then I'll show you when you get back how to duplicate this event. Okay, now that we're back, you've added your block point for Sunday, let's duplicate it for whatever happens again in the week. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on theater. And this time, instead of editing, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the three dots. And I'm gonna duplicate this event. So I'm gonna go ahead and press duplicate. And this now, I'm gonna change the date because this happens on a Wednesday. So I'm gonna go ahead and do Wednesday and I'm gonna change the time. So 1.10 p.m to 2.30 p.m. and that is every Wednesday. So can you see this? It says weekly on a Wednesday until the 12th of June. So perfect, I'm gonna go ahead and add that. So I'm gonna keep the same color, of course, because that is theta, it's just duplicated in my week. Now if I go to any one of my weeks, you can see that theta is duplicated for every week. I've got theta, my two blocks of theta throughout that week. So go ahead and add that, and then once you're ready, we can go on to block two, which is basically the same, the same system now. Okay, so for block two on Sunday, I've got Spanish, so I'm gonna go ahead and click here. I'm gonna make a new block. I'm not gonna duplicate anything. And I'm gonna say Spanish. Of course, I'm gonna add my emoji, so Control, Command, and Space. You can let me know in the comments below what is the shortcut on a PC. I don't know what it is. So I'm gonna write Spanish here. There we go, look at that. And then, so this is from nine to 10.20. And actually, I like orange, so I'm gonna keep that as orange. And I'm gonna take off my notification, I don't need my notification. Now, before I press save, I know that this event duplicates on a Wednesday exactly at the same time. So I'm gonna to go to my repeat. I'm gonna customize my repeat, and I'm gonna do also Sunday as well as Wednesday. And I'm gonna end this. Um, when is this? This is the 12th of June, uh, 25. There we go, and I'm gonna add it. Now, in that one click, I've added both of these for the rest of the year. So it happens every week for the rest of the year. So that's awesome. So if you have the hang of this now, brilliant. You can carry on and adding all your time blocks. And then like that, carry on just creating all of your events. By the end of the video, you should have a full timetable on your calendar that looks something like this. And that's how you do time blocking for your subjects in Google Calendar. With everything planned out, you'll be more organized, less stressed, and ready to take on your schoolwork with confidence. Okay, give this a try and let me know how it goes in the comments, uh, what works for you, what doesn't. Uh, if you found this helpful, obviously don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell um, for part two and three, which is gonna be Google Tasks and Google Notes. All right, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.